to my channel thank you so much for stopping by if you're part of the family welcome back for today's video I'm going to um, try doing chia pudding for the very first time I've been wanting to do this for a long time because it's healthy it's simple um, and uh, recently we have switched over we started our transition to eating gluten-free as a family because one of our my sons I'm not gonna say his name may have an intolerance to gluten so we're like hey let's just all go gluten-free it's just healthier um, honestly I feel like I'm less bloated and like gassy and Lucia too <laughs> um, this video was not planned I was just like hey let me do some chia seed pudding because there's only three ingredients and I was like let me just turn on my phone and film so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna show you the ingredients now um, I've never done it hopefully fingers crossed it comes out good because if not then I'm gonna have to delete this video so if you're watching this video it came out good all right okay so let's start all right so here are the ingredients we have our little small little mason jar here we have a very pretty assistant who's gonna <laughs> help us out <laughs> we have some chia seeds that we got from um, Aldi as you can see we got some honey that we got from Aldi and we have some coconut milk. This video is not sponsored by Aldi, but we love Aldi, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's what I do. Okay, so we're gonna start off with Sia with two tablespoons of chia seeds. Two of these? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Where do I put it in here? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> One. Two. two. All right. Next, we're gonna put half a cup of um, coconut milk. Oh wait, we need to get our measuring thing. I forgot our measuring thing here. All right, last minute change. We're going to double our recipe because I have all these kids that I have to feed. Where's Nathan? Oh, he left. I have five people in this house I wanna try it. Hold up, wait, wait. Lucia's getting ahead of herself. Hold on. So we're gonna double our recipe, which means we're gonna put four tablespoons of chia seed in here, okay? Okay. So go ahead, Lucia. We're gonna put an extra two. I'm gonna put everything below in the description box, okay? So the original recipe called for two, but we're doubling it up. So we're doing four. What's two plus two, Lucia? Equals four. That's right. She's homeschooled, guys. That's right. Okay. So then next we're gonna do the recipe called for half a cup. But since we're doubling it, we're adding how much? This whole thing. One cup. Yep, she's homeschooled. All right, hold on. Wait, this I see this falling in, in the counter. So I'm going to hold it. Oh my gosh, hopefully this comes out good. Good job, Lucy. Good job. And stop. Stop. Oh, stop, stop, stop. That's like right at the edge. Look at that. I see that going in. Okay. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get this. We're going to scoop out. It's okay. Just a little bit. So like when you pour it in, Lucia, it's not going to... There we go. Let's do a couple more. Yeah, that's better. Hold on. Let's do one more, and then you can do the rest. Oh, that was close. Very careful. Yeah, that's what I told you. Should we use that? That's okay. Wait, I'll go ahead and clean that. Yeah, let's clean up our mess. Lift it up. Because if you move it, it will take all the milk. You have to clean the sides of the... Yeah. All right, next we're going to add our sweetener. So we're going to add the recipe calls for one teaspoon. For the, um, two of these? So two of these, two teaspoons. Do it right on top, Lucia, we'll just in case. It, there you go. Squeeze it. Good job. Oh, assistant, you're doing a great job. Yes, I'm your special assistant. Yes, you are. So the next part apparently is very important. We're going to mix the chia seeds. Mix all of our mixture. Make sure you scrape the sides. But I'm not doing it that fast. There's some over here. Good thing, if you're not doing it that fast, you still gotta scrape the sides. So now, now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna wait a couple of minutes. 
We're gonna let the chia seeds settle because what usually tends to happen according to the recipe that I saw, the chia seeds might go and settle all the way in the bottom. So we're gonna wait a little bit so they can settle and then we're going to mix them again. All right, so we'll be right back. All right guys, so it's been about a minute. We're gonna go ahead and stir it some more. There we go. And what's gonna happen is that these chia seeds are going to like quadruple in size because they're going to suck in all that milk um, and it's gonna have like a pudding like um, consistency. So, all right, so now this guy is gonna go into the refrigerator for about four hours. You can also do it overnight. Um, so it could be ready in the morning and you can have it for breakfast. And yeah, I can't wait to try this. So let's wait. So let's go ahead and put it in the fridge. All right, guys, oh, let me close this. It has been five hours since we um, did our chia seed pudding. I just put a Ziploc bag on top because I didn't feel like putting saran wrap. So let's go ahead and taste it. Let me show you what it looks like. All right, guys, here it is. There are the seeds right there. Hold on, hold on. Luki, para atrás. These are my assistants, guys. These are Luki and Lucia. You know her. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and try. You go Look at first. Luki. Look at Luki. <laughs> you see it. <laughs> Here we are. All right, let's mommy let mommy try it first. Put it this way so they can see. Wow, look here. It looks like caviar, guys. Look at this. Caviar. Mmm. It's a little grainy. It just needs a little more sweetener. Let me try. You gonna try it? Mommy, but we can't. Difficult you already put the mouth in it? We're a family. It's okay. Okay, find me. Let's go. Mm. Oh, wow. Wow. Let's see. <laughs> okay, Lucia's not a fan. <laughs> Relax. It may need a little more sugar, but it doesn't taste bad. It has like a pudding consistency. I like it. This will probably be my dinner. I like them. Um, it needs a little bit more. Um, I need a little bit more of chocolate. Chocolate? What the? Red doggy. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's about it. I think it came out really good. And at this point, I can add some more honey if I want. I could put some fresh fruit, granola, um, coconut. <laughs> Coconut shavings. What is he doing? <laughs> Add some toppings just like you would like a Greek yogurt or any type of yogurt or pudding. So anyways, let me know if you guys have tried this or if you guys are going to try it. Um, and if you guys like it and what toppings do you guys put on your chia seed pudding. Thank you so much for watching. The recipe is will be in the bottom in the description box below. Um, comment below your thoughts, your opinions, um, and thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for a few messages from myself, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye! Bye. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to assemble this um, chia pudding parfait, I guess. So here I have some strawberries. I'm going to put on top. Alright. Next I'm going to put some blueberries. I'm gonna get some honey. Honey, honey, honey. Don't move. And then lastly, some unsweetened um, shredded coconut. And that is it. And that will be my dinner. Hello friends, thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. It actually means the world to me that you guys actually take the time out of your busy day to watch my videos. I have a few messages for you guys. It won't take long at all, I promise.
All right, so number one, um, I accept prayer requests. So if there's anything that you are going through, um, anything that you want prayer over, just go ahead and contact me, either through a comment below, an email, private message, whatever way that you want, um, so I can add you to a prayer list that me and my family have, and we pray for every single day. We have seen the power of prayer in our lives, and we wanna share that with you guys. All right, number two, if you are on Instagram, you should totally be following me. Why? Because I go live Monday through Friday and I do a small devotional slash Bible study anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, but it's just something that you guys can listen to throughout the day to get you connected to the Lord and to his word. And lastly, number three, if you are not following me, totally subscribe, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. I would love for you to join our family. We have so much fun here. I do my best to upload twice a week, usually Tuesdays and Fridays. And I do videos about anything and everything. I do beauty, I do fashion, I do recipes, I do about my life, I do hauls, I do some of my favorite products. Honestly, a little bit of everything where my kids are involved and it's just so much fun. So I would love for you to join our family if you want. All right, that's about it. Thank you so much. Love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.